And today happens to be the day before I turn 55. And I don't want this to become a habit because I am entering into that stage of life where if I don't start making me a priority, I'm not gonna have myself to prioritize anymore. So things are gonna change right now. Today happens also to be one of the first days that it's not almost 100 degrees here in part of Southern California in which I live. So I'm making use of the day. It's 75 right now at almost noon. I'm making use of this day to be outside. It's a beautiful blue sky. Where I live, there's tons of trees. And I think that this day was given to me so that I can propel myself forward into really allowing myself some deep care. One of the things that I've decided this school year is to um, just not work as hard. If after 25 years, I can't figure out how to teach effectively and efficiently with my time, then I shouldn't be in this profession. But I'm saying that because um, I always have to keep reminding myself of that. I think that I'm suffering from a bit of imposter syndrome uh, in my career. So I need to let that go because I think I've earned the right to kind of go into work, do what I know how to do with the tools that they give me, and then at 2.30, head on out and go home and enjoy the rest of my life and not put all of my life into my career. I've done that 25 years, 25 years. How many students is that? I don't want to do the math in my head now because I want to focus on the day, not on being intellectual. So you can do the math for me. 25 years, actually this is my 26th year, with anywhere between 25 and 30 students each year. That's a lot of kids that I have helped develop their intellect for. And I deserve a bit of a break. So since I can't retire yet, my income is still a big portion of how we survive our life. Um, I am just going to slowly start to reel in my energy and save some of it for me. Because you know what? I don't want to wrap up my career and be so exhausted that I can't enjoy the rest of my life. The whole point is to like have that time to do all the other things. So one of the ways that I plan on taking better care of myself <laughs> is to be outside. Vitamin D is life affirming. Literally, it is. And I'm grateful and lucky enough to have grown up in Southern California where vitamin D is plentiful the majority of the year. There's no reason why I shouldn't be taking advantage of that. And the other thing is that I'm going to be moving my body a lot more. What I'm noticing right now, even after not having walked for two weeks, is that I'm a little breathless because I'm walking and talking, but I'm walking at a really quick pace and nothing is hurting. So what that indicates to me is that um, I still got it. <laughs> I, my body still wants to work, not a career. My body still wants to work. It wants to move. It wants to be alive. So I can't spend my time sitting on my butt when my body is still able to move. Another thing that I need to be more grateful for, if I can move, 
I need to be moving. I don't need to be jogging. I don't need to be doing cartwheels. I never learned how to do one anyway. But I do need to be moving. And this feels really, really good. Really good. So besides moving my body and being out getting vitamin D more and reeling in my work hours, I want to use some of that time that I'm allowing myself this coming year and in the years going forward to continue to develop who I am. So what I mean is that I want to like do all the things. I, I'm not much of an adventurer. I, I don't have a deep need to travel the world and you know skydive and that kind of stuff. But for me doing all the things is taking some art classes, um, reviving my desire to and, and my creative um, creative soul, reviving that to more towards my painting and my art making. Um, I used to love getting little canvas squares from Michaels and painting them some beautiful colors and then taking like wire and weaving it through. I, I don't know why, it's just something that sounded good to me in my mind and when I made them, they, these things turned out beautifully. They, they were these amazing works of art and you know, I recently was at an art fair. I had gone three times this summer, um, once with Mike and once with my son and his girlfriend and Mike and then once again with my friend Tracy, my YouTube friend. I'm so grateful for you. Just the thought of you is bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> um, but when I was at this craft fair, I was realizing that <laughs> it, it's not a craft fair, it's, it's an art fair. And these, are, these were local artists from the community that we were in. But when I was there, I was looking around at the things that they were creating and selling. And I thought to myself, the, the thing that I created, the kind of art that I created, is in line with with their art like I I am no different I, I didn't go to art school but that doesn't mean that I don't have something within me that I, I I have so much within me to develop and discover and create so um, going there was really really inspiring to me and I have this itch to want to to want to create again deep, deep thoughts today, but that's what happens when you get to this place in life. So if you're watching me right now and you're in your 20s or 30s, I know you're not my main audience. Most of you guys are 40 and up, but um, if you're not yet about to be 55 in 24 hours, um, heed my words. <laughs> you get to this place where you just start to feel like uh, you want more for yourself. And I have given a lot I have given of myself as long as I can remember from the time I was a kid. I was a sensitive soul and I absorbed the energy of all the people around me and I gave them what they needed at the time, whether it was my parents or my sister or my friends or my teachers or my employers. And I was always giving everybody what they needed or what they wanted from me and now as I'm about to turn 55, I need to give me what I need. And I'm going to do that selfishly. I can be selfless, but I've spent the first 55 years of my life being selfless and it is a, an enormous, um, um, it's an enormous, important part of being a human being to have the ability to be selfless but there comes a point when I need to flip that around and I need to selfishly care for myself <laughs> and like now is the time I have some other videos where I've talked about this where I've talked about my you know watching my 
parents not take good care of themselves as they got older. And I lost my mom a number of years ago and almost lost my dad 20 years ago. I'm grateful that he's still here, but all because they worked themselves to death and didn't stop to take care of their health or their social emotional well-being and I'm not going to allow that to be me. Okay, there's one last thing I can think of that I need to promise myself to do this year. Um, oh, there's a beautiful red dragonfly that just flew by. I wish you could have seen it. And there is such a cool, beautiful breeze blowing right now, which is so refreshing since it's been hot and dry for the last two, three, four weeks. This is so nice to be outside. It's about to make me cry. Am I crying because of that? Or am I crying because I'm about to be 55 and I'm having a bit of a moment? I don't know. I just know that I feel tears coming on. Uh, this is reality TV at its best, by the way. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's one more thing that I want to focus on um, this year, um, this coming year, and this coming season of my life. Um, and uh, in a couple of days, my daughter is going to be starting college. She's going to a local community college. And um, so I will then have two children in college, two adult children. And I need to just let that be. I need to let them fill in the blank. I need to let them make their mistakes. I need to let them be sad. I need to let them feel anger. I need to let them feel disappointment. Um, I need to let them. I need to let them to decide what their adult relationship with me is going to be like. Uh, I need to let them make their own decisions about how they want to take care of their physical health. I just need to let them. You could put anything in that blank. I need to let them be the human beings that they want to be. I wholeheartedly and warmly and lovingly brought them to adulthood and now it's time to let them. That was advice from my therapist a few years ago. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. In fact, I kicked and screamed when my son left to go to college and letting him go was very difficult. But from the time he left in January until now, um, he has come and go a few times already, so I'm getting better at <laughs> letting him go. And so far he's always made wonderful decisions, except for the decision he made recently to leave his keyboard and pillow at home before he drove back up to go to school and then called me to let me know that he left them here. And now I need to, that's the thing I need to do today. I need to mail him his pillow and his keyboard. <laughs> um, but I let him make the mistake. I didn't go in and check his room before he left. It's not my job. So those are some things that I'm going to be focusing on in this coming year and for my life going forward as I am about to turn 55. If you made it to the end of the video, please let me know in the comments what you plan to do for yourself in the coming year so that you can be the best version of you and live a happy, warm, successful, thriving, long life. Thanks for watching.